Hey guys, it's Brittany. So I know I haven't made a video for you guys in a while and it's mainly because I've been working a lot and also I finished school over last year, yeah, over the summer. Um, so it's kind of no excuse, but yeah, the working part, it's been taking a toll on me and everything. So I decided to make my coming back video as in like, you know, hey guys, I'm back, yeah, you guys missed me kind of thing. And I'm gonna make it a very serious video. It's um, actually about a topic that is very personal to me. Um, a lot of people don't know about it. I think my, my boyfriend knows about it. Um, obviously my family knows, or my mom knows about it. No one else really does. Um, my roommate knows about, or my ex-roommate, the one I used to live with, knows about it. Um, about probably like five people, maybe, uh, the most that know about this, and it is that I have high testosterone. Um, if you guys are wondering what high testosterone is, it's basically, um, the male hormone, uh, which, you know, males obviously have it, duh, testosterone, yeah, um, and it kind of outweighs my estrogen levels, um, because I'm overweight, it makes it, uh, my hormones go out of whack and everything, so my, um, androgenism, it's, it's pretty much the, um, the technical term is, uh, I believe it's, uh, hyperandronism, something like that. Yeah. Um, basically, it just means that my testosterone levels are way higher than my estrogen levels. Um, and basically, I'm just going to read you guys some information about it, and then I'll go into my personal experiences with it, and living with it, and how it affects me, basically. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so basically, um, I'm just going to read off some things from Livestrong. Uh, you guys probably know about it and everything. And it's just about how um, high testosterone affects women. Um, high testosterone levels in women, also known as hyperandronism, can be caused by medical conditions such as adrenal disease and or tumors, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and Cushing's disease. High levels of testosterone in women can cause significant physical effects. See your doctor if you experience these symptoms or high testosterone levels. Now, I was diagnosed with high testosterone because I had seen a doctor. Um, if I hadn't, I wouldn't have known about it. Um, one of the uh, physical effects is virilization. Virilization, physical changes distinguishing men from women, is an indication of significantly high levels of testosterone in women. Symptoms of uh, virilization, including enlargement of the clitoris, lowering of the voice and breast atrophy. Uh, this condition is often associated with tumors of the adrenal glands or ovaries. Uh, virilization also includes increased libido and male pattern muscle mass pain, and if left untreated, can lead to increased risk of heart disease and hypertension. Um, another one is hair loss. Male pattern hair loss, uh, andro androgenetic uh, alopecia, is a common physical effect of high testosterone levels in women. Generally, their hair loss begins at the vertex of the scalp and continues to the temples, much like the pattern seen in males. Diffuse hair loss might affect the entire scalp. Um, Hirsutism. Hirsutism is a condition in which a woman develops excess coarse hair growth the way men typically do on the chin, face, abdomen, and chest. Treatment for hirsutism, excuse me, <laughs> may also include electroly uh, uh, electrolysis and laser hair removal. Prescription medications such as oral contraceptives may also counteract excess hair growth. Acne. Acne is a common side effect of hyperandronism, high levels of testosterone, increase the production of sebum, a vicious substance that can clog the pores. Bacteria on the face cause inflammation, leading to the formation of acne on the face, back, and chest. Medication frequently, washing of the affected areas, and application of over-the-counter acne creams may decrease acne. Uh, menstrual problems. Women with high levels of testosterone might experience disturbances in their menstrual cycle. This usually occurs in the form of amenorrhea, a, com a complete cessation of menstruation, uh, oligomenorrhea, something like that, it kind of like it says diarrhea, which is kind of gross, uh, infrequent or light menstrual cycles may also be caused by high testosterone levels in women. These menstrual disturbances can eventually lead to infertility. So basically, I'm going to start with each one and tell you guys about my situations with it. Um, first, I'm going to go into my diagnosis. So I went into a doctor when I was 16 because I had thought I had a yeast infection. Um, I didn't, luckily, but they did blood work because I told them also that I hadn't been, I hadn't had my period for almost a year, and I definitely knew I wasn't pregnant because I wasn't sexually active at the time. Um, basically, they did blood work, 
and they called me back and they were like, hey, um, you need to come in, we need to talk about something. And I went back and they told me I had high testosterone and uh, it kind of like, before I knew I had t high testosterone, I was already experiencing some of these symptoms and I didn't know why. So it kind of brought to my conclusion of, oh, well, it's because I have high testosterone, so that must be why. Um, basically, my side effects or my physical, um, which we call it, the, uh, what we were going over right now, um, I was growing excess facial hair, which means, I mean, as I was growing up as a Hispanic child, most Hispanic uh, women deal with this. We get a little bit of darker hair on the corners of our mouth. Most females do. It's completely normal. Um, but for me, it was a little bit more than just that. And I was also growing hair on my chin and under here, um, which was really weird. I sometimes will get dark hairs on my chest, just like, you know, one or two every now and then, not like a whole whoosh, not, not something I need to shave. It's just like, just little black hairs that poke out. Um, on my belly, I do have hair growth because of obviously my high testosterone. Um, and that is really, it makes me very self-conscious because it's like, you know, um, I'm always having to shave and everything and it's like I don't feel attractive because of that and it's really gross. So I tend not to wear, like, you know, stuff that would end up probably showing my stomach if I were to stretch. Um, also, I do, I've had this since I was little anyway. And like I said again, going back to most Hispanic children or any person of color, um, we pretty much grow hair on like our lower backs, but not like, like oh my god, she's a dude kind of hair, it's just like, you know, light, light hair, but not like peach fuzz, like, it's not like bleach blonde hair like we grow on our face, it's like a slightly darker color, like slight dark brown, um, so that's, that's normal for me, I mean, I've grown up pretty much hairy girls is pretty much what we call it. I grow hair on my arms and on my lower back and everything. That's completely normal for most females. So if you have that, don't worry, you're not the only person. But basically what my doctor did for me is that she put me on birth control for the time being just to get my um, estrogen hormones in and help me balance out my period, which luckily after I started taking it for about two months, my period was back on track and I was getting a period every month. When I was in other relationships, I was sexually active and I would take my birth control but I would forget sometimes, so I actually went to my doctor just recently and I told her that I needed to get the next plan, which is the um, little little bar thing that they put in your arm right here. Um, and that's supposed to help, you know, obviously. it's I believe it's 99% effective. It's more effective than birth control, um, like pills. Um, but yeah, basically going off track. Anyway, so I'm gonna go over each of these things and tell you how my, my um, my reactions were with them or whatever or if I have those physical effects um, virilization which uh, it says enlargement of everything and grossness well luckily I don't have enlargement of down there um, my voice has become lower but it's only because of puberty it's actually it's been this way before I was diagnosed with high testosterone before I like was using periods and everything so it's pretty much just for females it's as we get older our voices get a little bit lower at least I'm not sounding like Batman. Um, and I don't know what breast atro atrophy is. Um, so I, I can't say I have it or I don't have it. Um, hair loss, I'm not gonna lie. I have been losing a lot of hair lately, um, which is actually really, really scary. But it's, it's not like the normal shedding, it's more like excess. So like, if I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair, I'll literally be taking up lumps of my hair and it, it freaks me out, so yeah. So I do have hair loss, not as bad, but it's, my hair used to be very thick when I was younger and now it's very thick. Um, so that sucks. Uh, hirsutism, which is obviously the coarse hair growth of face, chin, and abdomen. I honestly do have that. I just take care of myself. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, uh, when I used to work at Subway, there used to be people who would come in and I kind of would get confused that they were female or male. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but it was very really confusing because, you know, they had a full-blown goatee going on, and I'm, I was kind of confused, but then I'm like, you know what, some people are proud of the way they look and they don't want to change themselves, and that is perfectly fine, you do you, you're beautiful either way, so that's all that matters. Um, but I personally pluck my, uh, my, my mustache and my beard, um, 
and it, it's just because I feel really self-conscious. I used to shave it, which would make it worse, and I would have to do that like every other day just because it grew in so fast. And now that I pluck it, it pretty much goes away for a week, so it doesn't bother me. Um, acne, I actually luckily don't suffer from bad acne. I have very good skin. I just have very bad ro rosacea, or rosacea or whatever it's called. It's um, the reddening of the skin. It's really bad around my cheeks, and my chin, and my forehead. I also have slightly oily skin too, so that doesn't really help. But I don't have that much acne. I like sometimes you'll really get one or two here and there, but I won't break out or anything. Um, menstrual problems. Obviously, yes, I do struggle with that stuff because um, I wasn't getting my period for a while, and if I miss my birth control, I don't get it. So it definitely sucks. But um, yeah, so I didn't want to make this video be gross or anything. It's just, you know, it's something that a lot of females are dealing with, especially if you're overweight. Um, and when I was diagnosed with uh, the high testosterone, they told me since I wasn't in my periods, I would have probably ended up with uterine cancer, um, which was actually terrifying because, you know, no one wants to think about cancer or anything. No one wants to hear that word because it is very frightening. Um, but yeah, so luckily they put me on that. I was getting my periods regularly and everything was pretty much A-OK, -okay, but I still have the excess facial hair growth and hair growth in general and everything. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with it now. It's just like, you know, as you get older, you start realizing not everything is going to go as planned for you. It's it's just weird. It's, um, yeah. If you have any questions, guys, you guys can leave in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, most likely, I will have a lot, so I'll probably be able to answer them all. Unless I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so I um, just want to make this video for any females that any teen girls pretty much because I know a lot of teen girls freaked out because I mean when I was figuring all this, out, all this stuff out I was freaking out myself so and I wish there was someone who had made a video that told me that it's okay to have high testosterone it's just you have to figure out how to work with it and go see a doctor and everything try to get yourself level because this can affect your fertility in the future if you do plan on having kids um for me I don't personally know if I'm going to plan I've had it for so long. Um, but yeah, so um, I hope this helped you guys. Like I said, leave a comment down below, ask me questions or anything. Um, if you guys want to see more videos about serious topics like this and stuff that I deal with that I can talk about, please uh, let me know. Please give it a like and subscribe if you're interested. And I'll try to make more videos like this more often. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay wonderful, stay beautiful, and stay awesome.